Hello everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and in this video I am going to show you how to do some cool color correction techniques uh, in Pixlr. Um, so uh, in the last video I showed you how to manipulate images in Pixlr and how to create some cool stuff. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to do some color correction techniques. We talked about adjustment layers, and adjustment layers are great. They're, they're a great way to to correct the entire area of an image or, or an entire image at once. Um, we can do, you know, color vibrance, bring our colors out a little bit more or desaturate them a little bit more. Um, we can create uh, an exposure layer which will over or underexpose our image. We can do color balance. Uh, curves is my favorite because we can really get into the the nuances of the color itself and really adjust it. Um, but one of the cool things that I like to do, and this is probably something you've never done before, or maybe you, you're not quite aware uh, at how this actually works. What you can do is you can use a tool called the Color Replace Tool. And the Color Replace Tool is actually very simple. Uh, you just choose a color that you want to replace. I'm gonna choose a cool like dark green. There we go. And then with your color replace tool selected, you can go in and just click and actually just start replacing the color of a specific part of the image, right? Now, because I originally clicked on the red area of his suit, it is only changing that specific color. So if I color over his eyes or on the background here, it's actually not changing the color because they're not that specific red. Um, and it's also keeping the texture as well because again, it's only changing that red. And, and it's a pretty pretty decent range of red. And we can play around with some of the options here if, if we don't like what hap or what, what um, options it has. We can click match target lightness uh, we can also adjust the tolerance here, so it changes the tolerance. We can increase the brush size, <clears throat> change it to a feathered brush or whatnot. Um, and it will allow us to basically change the color of any any object. Uh, you can do this to change someone's shirt color or um, like I'm doing here, change Deadpool into a, I don't know, St. Patrick's Day Deadpool. Maybe like a cool looking Ninja Turtle style Deadpool. Um, and this would not take as long if I change the brush size. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll make it 200. That works. And you just want to make sure you get a clean grab of the color you want to change. Because if you don't, it's not going to... Uh, it's going to probably get confused. So there's my green Deadpool. Uh, so the color change tool uh, or color replace tool is really, really helpful. Um, some other things you can do is you can grab this blur tool here and you can actually blur parts of the image. Uh, it's kind of hard to see there, but we can blur it and make it a little bit blurrier if we want. Um, we could also use the sharpen tool to do the exact opposite. Or we sharpen parts of the image and make it a little bit harder, uh, give it more more detail. Um, and again, it's kind of hard to see that, but see if we can sharpen it a little bit, take some of the blurriness out. We can also use the smudge tool. The smudge tool is cool because we can actually just like smudge parts of the images. We can just grab and smudge like uh, like it was wet ink and we just smudged it. We can also use the sponge tool, which kind of does a spot clean of that area. Um, it's not exactly perfect, and I don't use it very often, but the the sponge tool is helpful if maybe you just want to make quick corrections and you're not quite sure what you want the corrections to be. Maybe use the sponge tool and see if that works. The dodge tool will just kind of reorder the pixels a little bit to try to match up more closely with the ones around it. You probably can't see any changes happening here, but it's just another fine fine tool or a, a fine adjustment tool that will do some, some cool stuff for you. Uh, the burn tool. The burn tool will 
Let's see if I can find an area where it will actually add some definition. Anyway, so the burn tool will actually kind of give it a cool burnt effect. This, pro this picture probably isn't the best for it. Uh, spot heal tool. Uh, you can choose this or you can use this tool to select an area and then it will automatically try to fix it according to the pixels around it. Now that didn't really work very well because it's a highly detailed part of the picture. But let's say we had like an issue over here, like a grainy image. We can use the spot heal tool to get rid of certain little uh, breaks in our image. Uh, the red eye reduction I'll talk about in a minute. The bloat tool is cool. You can just bloat certain parts of the image. Like whenever you see those, those Instagram models who uh, make their butts bigger and it's obviously gross and not not real that's probably they're probably using the bloat tool and in the opposite we have the pinch tool which will give you a nice pucker mouth all right let's talk about the red eye so oh gosh that's scary all right so I have uh, a pretty good example of red eye in a photograph this happens all the time whenever you're taking pictures of somebody and you say you know they the, the flash is on, the flash will reflect in their in their irises and will give you this cool red eye. Uh, probably not that cool, uh, makes you look like a demon. We can actually use this red eye reduction tool to uh, just click in that red eye area and it will reduce the red eye, it'll just cut it right out. So the red eye reduction tool is very, very, very helpful and we definitely wanna do that. Um, let's see, anything else on color? Uh, I mean, there's some cool effects you can you can throw. Uh, honestly, a lot of this is just playing around and seeing what uh, what looks cool and what works and what doesn't. Um, in the next video, which is going to be part of your uh, Colorize project, I will teach you how to use Pixlr to take a black and white photo and actually add color to the photograph. So we're going to do that next. Uh, but the main the main thing about color in Pixlr is just practice. And play around with it. Um, remember, whenever you're playing around with an image, you probably want to make a duplicate of that layer so that whenever you make changes to it, you don't actually lose the original. Um, I didn't do that in this because I, I obviously didn't really care about keeping these images, but always make duplicates and then play around. Practice, practice, practice. Try to break some things, see what works and see what doesn't. All right, that's it for me. I will see you next time. Thanks for paying attention.